Okay, this week's Power Hour video tip of the week is finding easier spots to catch fish. Like this guy right here, he's got a big one on. So what we're looking for when we look for easier spots to catch fish are often inside corners. Inside corners are instrumental in a guide's toolbox for reading water. What I've got here is I've got a great big swift river and it takes a bend towards the inside right here and there's this little bit of soft or slower water right in here. And that's where we're catching these big fish is they sit right here on the edge of that fast water, just like that right there. Now, a really big part of fishing these inside corners is learning the angle to cast at. It's critical that you guys cast slightly back upstream, like I'll demonstrate here in a moment after we net this big lunker. Nice, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. Woo. Nice job, caught right there on that inside corner, just like that. Beautiful, on a stonefly nymph. Nice job, Sage. We're rolling. Yep. Okay, so as described, tip of the week is fishing inside corners and identifying those. They're a natural place to catch fish, one of the easiest places to catch fish. As a guide, I'm always looking for inside corners, and when I fish a new river, I'm always looking for inside bends. But there's a recipe for success on these. You have to cast back upstream on inside corners. When we're casting across water that's slower than the current line we're fishing, it's critical that we cast back upstream in order for a nymph or a dry fly to fish properly. So I'm gonna demonstrate here the approximate angle I like to cast back upstream. Where you stand is really important. As I go back upstream, I want that drift to come back at me at a neutral angle so there's no mending. It makes a much more natural presentation. I call this a neutral drift. So I'm just going to set my nymph downstream there. I'm going to take it right off the water and I'm going to throw about a 50 degree angle back upstream like this. And all I have to do is raise my rod up and let this indicator come floating by me just like that makes a very, very, very natural drift. And I can feed a little line down there. Missed a bite right there. I don't like to hook them all on video because I want you guys to know how challenging this is. So I'm gonna put it back upstream again and I just raise my rod up and it's a very... It becomes a very, very easy drift when I cast back upstream on an inside corner. Uh, we're using a thingamabobber strike indicator rather than yarn because those cast better in the wind. And I'm using a drop shot style system with a large piece of weight on the bottom and a small stonefly nymph tied about 18 inches above the shot if you want more inf uh, info on drop shot nymphing. Uh, just go to our YouTube channel or our blog and search for Drop Shot Nymphing. Show you how to set that up. But that's your tip of the week.